Hello, this is Patrick Hanley at Hanley Innovations. Today we're going to analyze the race car front wing, show you how easy it is to do in multi-element airfoils. Um, we could first start by changing the wing from a Nakata 12 to something that would probably produce more lift or downforce. And typically it's not very easy to analyze um, a multiple wing using CFD because of the grid generation process. But with multi-element airfoils, which use an automatic grid generation, you can easily add uh, multi-element wings in ground effect, and then um, just um, click a button to generate the grid, which is a Cartesian grid, and the program would automatically generate the grid and then analyze the flow field. Multi-element airfoil, as you can see, is an interactive program. You can essentially enter the the wing sections and move them around on the um, screen uh, into an optimal position and then just simply uh, quick click um, the grid generation and the program will automatically do this. Usually it takes um, hours using um, a typical CFD program. The next step is essentially just set the flow field parameters and then um, let the solver start working. Solver can be either an Euler method or Navier-Stokes, and as you can see, um, the solver starts to do the analyze the flow field, and we can get a, a velocity field in a few seconds. This um, would require um, some more iterations if you wish to um, calculate, say, um, accurate values of the lift and drag. Typically, about six thousand iterations, and you can see we can stop the solution. And then we can um, look at the flow field. We can show some streamlines. And um, we can add, um, uh, actually, we can probe the flow and find the flow quantities at any point in the flow field. Um, sometimes we want to add um, more um, airfoils. And um, this is, again, extremely difficult with a typical CFD software, but with multi-element airfoils, again, we could just go ahead, add um, another element, um, we could um, change its orientation um, if we want to, and then we can just move that um, new element in position, and then, um, again, generate the grid. Uh, the more element we add um, to multi-element airfoils, um, the longer it will take to generate the grid. But as you can see, that is certainly not um, a week or um, several hours to generate. It takes, as this is doing, being done in real time, it takes just a few minutes or a few seconds to get the grid generated for this complex shape. And we can just go ahead and then solve the flow. And um, the velocity field, as you can see, converges quickly to calculate again to calculate the um, the forces and the moment. It would require a few more iterations. If you are a design engineer that is charged with designing um, the front um, wing for race cars, uh, Formula One, or other type of vehicles. I would recommend multi-element airfoils as a good place to start. You can um, typically look at different shapes or uh, different scenarios rather quickly on a PC and get good results um, with which to um, start the design process. More information can be found at HanleyInnovations.com. This is Dr. Patrick Hanley.